So I'm here on location at Thomas County Schools in Southern Georgia, where students are using Pocket Labs for citizen science, contributing to research that's happening at Georgia Tech and Spelman College. What we want to provide them is an experience. And whether that's, you know, a 30 minute lab, a week long project or, or a year long project, something that they can have experience and, 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 and grow with as opposed to just looking at an assessment and taking a grade on a test. The human impact on the climate system is very clear at a global scale, but increasingly what we want to understand is, is how that's impacting communities at the local scale. And that's really where our work comes alive. You have urban heat islands that build up and retain heat because that, uh, the asphalt uh, buildings, you've got atmospheric pollution from car exhaust, uh, you got building exhaust, different things like that, and so that creates a, a bubble of heat. And if you get from there into the country, you can see a, a dramatic uh, drop off in temperature. So those are areas where we can see the impact of the global scale phenomenon at the local scale. And we're going out and measuring that and bringing data to policymakers, to community members, to school children, and helping them understand the problem. And then of course, helping them think about what could be done to solve this problem of urban heat islands and protect people from increases in temperature extremes that we know are coming with climate change. The fact that South Georgia gets to collect some real-time data, draw conclusions, that part is phenomenal. Uh, so this is a pocket lab. So this is a digital uh, wireless research lab that fits in your pocket that you can use to measure all sorts of things in the world around you. So you can measure things like temperature, which is what the students here are using, but you can also measure humidity, air pressure, uh, acceleration, angular velocity, magnetic fields, and many more. Uh, they connect via Bluetooth to your phone or tablet or computer, and they graph data in real time. We also have a software platform called Pocket Lab Notebook, where you can analyze your data and watch videos and draw conclusions. Well, we went, out, went outside the parking lot and we uh, determined the temperature of the road. And it indicated that the temperature on the road was higher than the temperature in the grass. So roads could compare to like buildings and pavements in urban areas. And then we also went to the grass where it's like a natural landscape to get the difference in temperatures to show that it's much hotter in urban areas. I learned that rural communities experience lower temperatures annually compared to urban areas. I think that this project will provide a lot of meaningful data about the difference between the temperatures in rural areas like us and the urban heat islands that surround us. Um, it can help everyday people understand how their daily tasks affect the global warming issue and how they can fix it. Big picture, it's important for those students to see how their work is actually affecting the bigger picture too kids don't realize the impact they can have. And a lot of kids today are searching for meaning and they don't know how they can contribute. And this is part of that. They can, they can, they can do something small like this and then they can start looking for themselves about what else they can do. Uh, but it starts the discussion. I think it's always good for our students to see that they are a part of research and they're a part of learning. And for them to be able to actually they experiment and take the research and then to be able to see how that translates into the research is very important. I always, as a teacher, always get that question, when am I ever going to use this in my life? Well, there's a great example of when you would have used weather and climate, understand atmospheric science, understand climate change, because those are all directly related to each other. If it inspires one student to go into science, you know, we've done our job.